so welcome back this is a nail art challenge and it was to do the mermaid tail nails so I am using this clear nail tip here so first I start off by drawing the tip of the nail on a clear baggie this was my first method um, I did think it was gonna work but it didn't but you'll see all the mistake what happened so here I'm trying to draw the mermaid tail and then I flip the bag over and I cut it and I use the part that does not have the marking on it for this technique I was inspired by Sarah Habit nail artist on YouTube I will leave her link down below she did use the cellophane paper that we use like to cut up in shreds okay so here I'm going to glue the tail to the back of the tip and it worked out fine and I have my alpha brush here Dulce oval number eight and I am going to put clear acrylic on it I am using odorless monomer so it does take a few minutes to dry like almost um, like 30 minutes for it to dry without like sticky layer so as you can see it started to curl up in the tip I don't know why I was so frustrated I think it's because this um baggie that I'm using is thin so it's not firm it doesn't stay in place so I was having so much issue here that I decided to take it off and then I used um, cellophane as you will see So here is the cellophane I'm going to use. It's a harder plastic. It stays in shape. Um, I did do again draw the mermaid tail and then I cut it up. And glue it to the back of the tip again I'm just using crazy glue and now it's time to add um, acrylic to it but then I decided that the acrylic was gonna take too long to dry so I decided to add base coat of gel polish and this is the Azure brand so I added one thin coat and then I pop it into the UV LED lamp And this is how it came out it came out perfect and I was going to add another layer of base coat but then I decided I want to make this tail thermal so I am using model ones number 8307 which is this pretty pink one that turns into a pretty light pink with the gold glitters um, popping out it has purple little glitters as well so here I'm painting the mermaid tail at first I was only going to paint the tip part of the tail but then I'm like let me just paint the whole nail so then I went ahead and painted the whole nail with that same gel polish This is a pretty light pink color it turns to when it's in hot temperature. So now I'm going to add a second layer of the gel polish. Now here I want to add some details to the tail so I'm using top coat and th this is gel polish top coat and some clear acrylic. I mix it up together because I want to make it pop 3D the detail I'm going to add to the tail. 
So I'm here mixing it up. If I would have builder gel, I think it would have been better because this gel, since it's top coat, it wasn't working that well. And I'm here using a brush. So I'm gonna go over the edges of the tail to make it pop. And then I draw some lines inside the tail. You will see. So here are the lines I was talking about and every so often I will pop it in the lamp so it could cure between takes so the lines won't um, run all over. And now for the nail part, I decided I wanted to do like fish scale or mermaid scale. So I'm using this orange fishnet. I am pressing it on top of the nail part. And then I go in with the Born Pretty Unicorn Mermaid pigment. And then I start to burnish it in on top of the fishnet. Everything was going good as you can see. But then when I took off the net, you only could see a little bit which that was fine with me but then I got a brush and decided to brush off the excess pigment and it totally came off I was so sad but I did something else the same thing I did to the tail on the corners I just did the fish scales in 3d like that and then I started to burnish the pigment on top and it came out totally better you will see And here is the finished look. I just added some gold butterfly because you know I love butterflies. And I added some opal Swarovskis and Presocia crystal Swarovskis. And I'm here just top coating it. And that is all for this nail. Here is the finished look this is thermal so here it is the fish tail in cold water and then when I transfer it on to hot water it turns into this pretty light pink I really love how it came out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye and if you guys want to participate in Pooh's corner 
for this mermaid tail challenge all you have to do is one nail i will leave the link down below where you guys can go join and participate i will see you guys in the next one bye